For the past two years, the annual Oakville Film Festival has been held virtually over Zoom. But in 2022, everything has gone back to normal. You know, we the first year we went virtual, um, it was kind of different and kind of cool. And we're like, oh, we're virtual. But by the second year, we had Zoom fatigue. We were just not as comfortable as we had been. And we were just itching to go live again. <laughs> to be in the same space with people again and to interact, it, it's wonderful. And the way people reacted when they knew that we were going live again really kind of showed us that we've been doing something good. Even through the course of the pandemic, we could have shut down, but we didn't. We kept it going. And now that we're open again, it's, uh, it's wonderful to see faces. The festival has been held annually over the last nine years, and it's one that is deeply ingrained in Oakville. The grassroots of this film festival is local filmmakers. Um, and we have tons of local filmmakers here this year uh, from all over the area. We have filmmakers from around Canada, but to me, the base and most important thing about this festival is our link to the community and our link to filmmakers in the community, to the audience in the community. So it's all about Oakville, really. This weekend's festival will feature many films, but Wendy expressed her pleasure with the movie featured on Thursday night. Phantom of the Open is a, is a golf film and it's going to be a lot of fun. It's a, it's a romance, it's about family, and it's about the underdog uh, finding his way and changing the game of golf. By losing the game so badly, he actually opened the game up to the middle class, you know, to people that would never have played golf in the first place. And then this kind of spread, it was kind of a movement that spread into the U.S. and in Canada as well. A number of the films featured this weekend are directed and written by immigrant filmmakers. It's great to see films made here from these different groups and all the immigrant populations that are coming in. And I think that's really important because it means Oakville is really being open to uh, a new community, a new community outlook and, and style, and a new um, type of audience too, and type of filmmakers. So it's just great. Judah had some encouraging words to offer to the next generation of filmmakers. I'm going to steal from the great Nike and say, just do it. <laughs> it's honestly, um, a lot of people miss opportunities, hesitating, thinking, I don't have the perfect camera. I don't have this or I don't have that. The hardest part is just saying to yourself, I'm going to do it and resolving to finish. Um, I say that from experience and I say that having now finished the film and working on others and working in the film industry, it's important to just go out and get things done. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Jack Ryan.